Well, friends, and welcome to another video lesson from DBOS Talks. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe and click the bell so that you can be notified of new uploads. This video is part of the playlist called Python Tutorial, and here we'll be learning about making if conditions in my Python. This is one of the most important commands or keywords used by programming languages uh, as it involves decision-making prior to an action. So first look at, uh, let's look at the basic syntax of the if clause in Python. So this is your syntax. Syntax means format. So above the first line is just a, it's just a comment for you to be refreshed on uh, how to use a comment that's using the hash character there. So I'll remove this. Uh, the basic syntax of an if clause or if condition is like this. If, which is case sensitive, lower a, lower case i and if, i and f, okay? And then followed by an expression or condition that will be tested. And then there's a colon, which is mandatory. And then, uh, below that, you give it an indent of either a tab or a couple of spaces for readability. But not only for readability, it is really a must that you give spaces, that you give this indent here, just below the if clause. Okay, so that's the basic syntax of an if if statement in uh, Python. Okay, so that's something you will uh, take note and have to get used to as you progress. Okay, now let's look at the real code involving the use of the if clause or if statement. Okay, so we have here, uh, if you, uh, I suggest if you haven't uh, watched my previous videos, I suggest you start from the very beginning of this playlist so you can really get a good grip on the concepts here so you can build your foundation really strong. So um, in the previous video, we talked about variables and then we'll be used putting it to good use in this video. So the first line of code is a variable declaration. I am creating or declaring a variable called sal, means salary, and giving it an initial value of 1,500, okay? And then here is your if clause or if statement. So again, I'm telling you the if keyword is case sensitive, it has to be lowercase. Uh, this sal here, I'm, selling, I'm saying if sal is greater than 1,000, okay, sal is of course the variable I've declared above. If the value of sal is greater than 1000, and then this here's a column which is a must, you must put it here. Then if that is true, if this condition is tested and evaluated to be true, then Python will do this, which is to print uh, this bunch of text to the screen, more than 1K, okay? So variable declaration, and then here's your if clause. And in an if clause, uh, the expression here is being tested by Python for truth. Is it true? If this condition here is true, then only then it will do the line of code below it, which is this. Okay, so let's test this. Okay, since um, the value of the variable sal is 1,500, let's evaluate it here and test it here. Is sal greater than 1,000? You substitute the, if you cannot imagine, you can substitute mentally uh, the value of sal, which is 1,500, you sub substitute it here. So is 1,500 greater than 1,000? You ask yourself. So if it is a true, in fact, it is true, then it will, Python will do this. That's why it printed more than 1K, okay? So that's uh, showing you a basic, the basic syntax of an if clause or if statement in Python. Uh, remember that the expression following the if keyword is being tested for truth. If it is true, then it will, uh, Python will do this, execute the line below it, okay? Now let's change the variable name to an uppercase S, just to prove to you that uh, in Python, variable names are case sensitive. So if I um, change this to uppercase S, so, and then if I say, no, no, okay, let's say here and then here S, okay? So I changed the variable name, not the name, but the case sensitivity. I've changed the cell here in this if clause to an uppercase S. Let's see what happens, okay? If I execute this, so there's a syntax error and it is pointing at this line over here. And the reason we already know, because I'm telling you that 
in Python, variable names are case sensitive. So it is not able to recognize, Python is not able to recognize this cell with an uppercase S because in the variable declaration, the variable you declared is cell with the lowercase S. Okay, this is unknown. So that's one. Take note that in Python variable names are case sensitive. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try this print statement without the indent or without the tab or spaces to it. And then let's execute. Same thing happens. There's another error. It says expected an indented block after if. See, it's a must. It's really a must to either use to use an indent. It's either a tab or space or spaces. So we can even give one space and that will be good enough. Okay. So, but for readability sake, you can uh, have two or more spaces. Otherwise you can use an indent. Okay. So that would work. Now that is just to reinforce your concepts on the, I mean, uh, an awareness of the syntax rules of Python. Okay. Now uh, let's try changing the variable value to uh, 1,000. Okay, let's just say, let's just say, let's say, okay, 1,000, 1,000, no, 1,000. Okay, so I'm changing the variable value to 1,000 execute. What happens? We don't see an error, but also we don't see any message. Why is that? It's because your if condition, look at your if condition. If sal is greater than 1,000, you ask yourself, What's the value of cell? It's 1,000. Is 1,000 greater than 1,000? You're testing it for truth. It's a false. Because 1,000 is not greater than, but equal to 1,000. So it becomes false here. If the value is the false, therefore it's not doing this. Okay? So it's not an error, but it is. Uh, it means your if conditions are insufficient to cover all the possible scenarios. Okay? So... To ensure that uh, if conditions cover all the possible values in the context of your logic or according to the business requirement that's being given to you, then you need to use uh, another keyword, which is called else, okay, which we'll be learning in this video. So let me just change it to something like this. Okay, so we have a sal declaration of 1000. We have this if clause over here. And then on top of that, we have added the else. So else is saying if any other condition, any condition other than this, sorry, other than this. So all other conditions, all other values of sal besides this, besides greater than 1,000 will fall under this category, else. Okay, so now let's try uh, something that will fall under here. So now, if your cell value is 1,000, you ask yourself, will it fall here or here in else? So you will see. Let's execute. Okay, so we see that it's printing the value, all other values, simply because uh, the value of cell is 1,000. If it comes here, it will test for truth. Is 1,000 greater than 1,000? It's a no. So it goes to the else, and therefore it prints this, all other values. Okay, so that's the purpose of else, meaning an else will cover all other conditions not covered by the if condition. That's the else. Okay, now let's learn a third keyword, which is elif. Elif, which means else if. Okay, so I will paste something else here and remove this. And okay, so here's your elif. If you know, because you hear it in your daily, in your language, in English, else you kind of know it. But now we have an elif. The rule is like this. In a, in a if block of the same level, meaning, okay, look at this, this basic structure. You can have only one if and only one else, but you can have multiple elif statements. Elif means else if, else if. In other programming languages, you have ELSIF, E-L-S-I-F, like in PLSQL. Um, um, but here in Python, you're using ELIF. Again, you can use multiple ELIF statements in one uh, block of if 
code. Okay. So I'm saying if the salary is equal to zero, then do this. Else if the salary is greater than 1,000, do this. All other conditions not satisfied by either this or this will fall under the else condition. Okay, and it will do this. So now let's try by uh, just a point of something new to your eyes right now is if you're not, if you're new to Python, this is the first time, maybe the first time you're seeing a double equal sign. Okay, so just to explain, okay, I will put it here. I will put it somewhere here. So the single equal sign, double. The single equal sign is for assigning a value to a variable, such as what's being done here. The double equal sign is for testing a value, testing the value, let's say, such as in an if or elif statement, okay? So that's the difference between the single equal sign and the double equal sign in Python, okay? Okay, so again, I have uh, put in here the use, I've used elif now, you will see it in, uh, in action. And we will test all the scenarios covered by this uh, these if conditions. Uh, first is let's try to test this sal equals zero. So I will change this sal to zero and see what happens. See, because sal is equal to zero, it falls under this condition. If sal is equal to zero, equals zero, it will print invalid salary. So that's correct. It's behaving correctly. Now let's try the other one, greater than one thousand. So let's just say. At the bare minimum, it would be 1,001, okay? In fact, 1,000, okay, let's start with this. See, 1,001 is definitely more than 1,000. So you substitute that here and you can imagine if 1,001 is greater than, see, it's greater than 1,000, so it falls here. So in fact, even if you say 1,000.001, it should, see, it still shows us more than 1K because 1,000.0001 is indeed greater than 1,000. Okay, now, now let's try the other one, uh, which is for the message to come off like this, less than or one equal to 1K. So let's think of a value less than 1,000. That would be 999, okay? So correctly, because it's 999, it doesn't go here because it's not equal to zero. It doesn't go here because it's not greater than 1,000. It's 999. So it goes to the else. So else is any condition, any other condition, not uh, satisfying either this or this. Okay, it goes to the else. It's like a catch-all. So it goes to the else and prints the message or does this, executes this line of code over here. So it's printing this less than or equal to 1K. Now let's try the fourth condition. Uh, although there are three if clauses here, if, elif, else, this is capturing two kinds of conditions because of this or. The less than 1,000 and the equal to 1,000 because there's an or here. You will learn more about the or in the upcoming videos, okay? So the fourth uh, test case we're testing is this. The value is equal to 1K. So I will uh, enter here 1,000 and see where it goes. Enter. So it goes to this condition again, less than or equal to 1K, precisely because it satisfies this condition over here, okay? So in this video, you've learned about the if, elif, and the else clauses in Python, how to use them, when to use them. Remember that uh, there's some basic syntax rules here. Uh, keywords are case sensitive, case sensitive, like if, elif, else, they're case sensitive. And remember that the expression following the if and the elif are being tested for truth. Are they true or are they false? If they are true, then the line below it will be executed. Okay, also remember that for the if, uh, the elif and the else clauses, they end with a semicolon. If you remove, if you skip it, it will become a syntax error. See, there's a semicolon, so, sorry, colon. There's a colon here and here else, there's also a colon. Okay, also remember that in Python, there is no end if. You have an if, you have an elif, you have an else, you don't have an end if. You will just simply end it like that without putting an end if, without putting a fi, okay, fi. Okay, so remember that um, this, uh, you can only use if once, 
else once you can use multiple ellipses if you need to according to the business sense that's required okay thank you for watching and thank you for listening if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and i will be seeing you in the next video